Dr. Huck has done invaluable work in preserving the archaeological heritage of Bangladesh. His work, especially in the field of Hindu iconography, is considered extremely important. Uh, the study of sculptures, what we call iconography, was not being done in Bangladesh or even in India in that way. So, in Bangladesh, we were doing an when I went to Oxford in 1970 to do a dissertation for my DPhil, I selected the subject as the Hindu iconography. And my supervisor asked me, Hawk, are you not a Muslim? I said, yes, sir. He said, then you are taking up a Hindu subject? I said, yes, sir. And you think that when you go back to Pakistan, you may be in trouble. I said, sir, I will take care of that myself. So, I was doing that dissertation. In less than three years, I studied 1,860 Hindu sculptures of Bengal. 1,860 sculptures of Bengal. An all-time record. I am not belittling other scholars, but this collect, uh, this study of so many sculptures have improved the uh, identifications uh, of earlier scholars, etc. And I am very happy that I was involved with such a study. I could uh, study many Hindu iconographic texts uh, and Based on them, I could say that the iconography was improved a lot. Bangladesh has many important archaeological sites. Dr. Huck was keenly involved in the excavation and exploration of these sites. He talked about the treasure of these sites which need to be further explored. Well, it is not only sculptures that we have studied in Bangladesh. Uh, it's nearly 50 years ago or so, new sites have been discovered in Bangladesh, quite a few. The one before that, some 70 years ago, when the History of Bengal Volume 1 was published from Dhaka University, it was an undivided Bengal at that time. So, only Paharpur was known to the scholars, that, that greatest Buddhist Stupa and Bihar, only this Paharpur was known. But after the establishment of Pakistan, the, our archaeologists, they discovered Mainamati in the Kumilla district. And gradually they started excavating that and so far, Twelve mounds have been excavated and a large number of antiquities have been found, copper plates, sculptures, etc. And this has opened up new vista for the archaeology of Bangladesh, this is. And not only Bangladesh, it has also helped identify many things in West Bengal, that there are 49 mounds in Moinamati. We have only excavated 12. That means much more are still lying buried in Moinamati Mounds. So the archaeologists have a duty, uh, great duty for the future. These have to be unearthed and excavated and studied.